Internationally revered jazz artist, composer and musical director Jonas Gwangwa has died. Gwangwa captivated audiences around the world with his artistry for over 30 years. Gwangwa used his music to communicate what was happening in South Africa during the struggle. SABC News compiled this piece in 2019 when he turned 82. Violet Gwangwa, wife to jazz icon Jonas, singing her favorite tracks from her husband's discography. They've known each other from childhood and their relationship blossomed into a fairy tale romance that led to marriage. We stayed in Botswana until 1987, and at that time it was when he was uh, making music for the score, yeah, Cry Freedom. Cry Freedom, it was done by Sir Attenborough in London. And uh, he went there to do the score with George Fenton. So from there, well, well it was nominated in 1988, went to the Oscars. And then we stayed in the US for some time. I did, well, he was there. I did, and uh, he came back home. 91. And as Guangwa's husband turns 82, she believes the country should be doing more to honor veteran musicians like Jonas. When there's always some recognition, obviously he, he gets happy because he used to say that he's more known outside than home. But those that are happening here at home are, are very precious and very close to his heart because, I mean, You've got to be known at home be and, and be appreciated. And unfortunately, I don't know, you must do something to make your music be played in the radio. You know, that there there's a song that I always say, why don't they play this song? Especially during Mother's Day. He's got a beautiful song, Mother is Love. But you'll never hear it play. I don't know whether... The stations don't have that or whatever, you know, but it's a picking, picking. The two songs that are mostly played are Mongwale, Batsumi, and Yalinyakum. But he's got so much rich music. son says they're truly blessed to have been mentored by the revered icon and he says it's been an honor to now manage his father's career when i tell my siblings of hey, nirnale papa go china and these are the stories this is what they did in china and they said now nah, i think when i will be right to you know tell his story further on Girno, but guys let's spend time with papa he's got stories for each and everyone mine at the end of the day becomes business and then sometimes he forgets or uh, this time is business it's not about him being my father take off this hat and put on this one so and also giving your father instructions it becomes well <laughs> those are some of the things that the papa said wake up you need to go for rehearsals. Okay, Papa, stop. Go and eat. Yeah. Go and dress up. We have to go to work. <laughs> yeah, I was like, Emuna, I said, no, but now we have to work. Then when he come back to the house, then he cannot separate. Also, when we're here, or when I man, when I'm not trying to know that I didn't know it's your day off today. I'm just giving you a day off, and then I have to go also just rest, you know. And Papa, we don't do Mondays. We've been working since Friday to Sunday. Please, it's a Monday. Let's relax and things like that. But he never stops because um, all the time he's working in his mind, music creating his music, you know, thinking of what's the next thing that we can even do better. The one that he played for me is a spiritual song, Nisha Moya. That, that's his more a, a prayerful song. Because I always say, you've got to pray. 
you are where you are because of your creator. Norma Polanin, SABC News, Johannesburg. Well, Jonas Gwangwa was on uh, numerous occasions invited to perform at many national events. The highlight of him uh, being performing during the inauguration of the first democratically elected president, Nelson Mandela. He never missed former president uh, Tabumbegi's birthdays. He helped me quite a bit, actually, and various other artists when we arrived into the country, you know, by making us... Firstly, uh, he was influential in having us uh, uh, um, play on Mandela's inauguration and we played on his inauguration and of course he played us quite professionally well and uh, he has been someone who loves music, you know, and uh, being aware that uh, culture is in the center of the struggle as it has been. You know, even outside, we're still struggling, still going on, you know, until we get it right. South African singer, songwriter Yvonne Chaka Chaka joins us now via Zoom to share some memories of the late Jonas Gwangwa. May Yvonne, a very good evening to you. Thanks for joining us. Welcome to the Globe. Good evening, Simpiwe and um, the viewers of the SABC, and thank you for having me. It is a sad day indeed. It certainly is a sad day. We certainly, uh, you know, cannot overemphasize, like, uh, you know, the fact that we've lost a true giant in the arts who carved an illustrious career for himself, who also joins other giants in the arts, uh, Brahu Masikela and Olifam Tukuti, who died this day in 2018 and 2019, respectively. Uh, what a way to start the year, May Yvonne. Your reactions? I think uh, we as South Africans are very much blessed to have had Uncle Jonas and claimed him as one of ours. He opened the doors for us, a real cultural icon. You know, I was very lucky to have performed him, you know, and uh, performed once or twice with him at uh, President Habombegi's um, uh, birthdays. A, a real gentleman, and I'm grateful to Mekwineth and Daba who introduced me to um, Uncle Jonas Lee Mama Violet. And uh, when I heard that his name was uh, Mosa, I always called him Papa Mosa, and he would say, mm. Ish, Kwineth, I see you, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, I But he was just such a great, great gentleman, and... Um, I really don't know. It's said that eight days, you know, after they've buried um, Mama Violet, Uncle Jonas is gone. But I think all of us knew that he would not make it without her. They were like twins. They loved one mm, another. They mm. worked together. So to Mujali, Fa, Liz Spanky, and all the other siblings, I want to say, we, it's not only you who have lost. The whole country and the world have lost a giant and an icon. Um, I want to also send condolences to his friends, you know, Abut Kaifas, Moses Leda, Bo, 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 Abigail Kubega, and uh, Ab Uncle Abdul Ibrahim. Those are the legends that we still have to hold on to. Yeah, and a true patriot that he was, and uh, he didn't want his, and as well as millions other South Africans, freedom fighting efforts to dissipate. And uh, sometimes you'd often see freedom for some is freedom for none. Well, you know, I think Uncle Jonas was a true, true fighter. He did the arts because he truly loved it. And it's actually very sad that he was known and loved outside his country. But you know what? When he came back in 91, as I said, I met him for the first time at Doke House. And um, he taught us a lot of things. And he persevered. And he still continued. And I'm glad that young people today in South Africa, they know who Jonas Gwangwa is. And I'm sure young uh, artists also, you know, re-record his songs, you know, Bomora and all those other songs. And I wish they can just do that because he was a true legend. He loved it. And unfortunately, he never made those millions that uh, he was supposed to have made. But you know what? He's given us love, he's given us music, and his music will always live forever. It's unfortunate that he'll make lots of money when he's gone. He could have made it when he needed it, when he was alive. But you know what? We love him, and thank you very much to his family who gave him to us. 
and he certainly exuded uh, you know leadership qualities because whatever project that he worked on i quite liked his propensity to participate in the politics of that particular project remember in 1965 when uh, he arranged singer Miriam makeba's grammy uh, winning uh, you know 1965 duo album with american artist harry belafonte he became very impatient with the sometimes shallow understanding of the music's uh, uh, american patrons it does show that he really exuded fatherly and uh, leadership qualities, didn't he? Well, Uncle Jonas Gwanga was just um, right up there, you know, with the, the, the best in the world, not only in South Africa, but in the world. And when you talk of 1965, that's when I was born, Simpiwe, you were not even thought about. <laughs> and um, he's come a very long way. And um, I think... Uh, because that song was also chosen for the Grammys, you can you can you can see that he was just the top in the world, mm -hmm. and uh, and yet very few people knew about him. But um, the world knew Jonas Kwangwa. The world loved him, and they revered him. And I just want to say, we have lost a giant. We've lost a real legend, and uh, it's it's just sad. But um, I'm glad that I got a chance to, to, to perform on stage with him and, uh, and got to know him. You know, um, um, my mom, mama was like a, a mother to all of us, a loving yeah. woman, a hard worker, and, and managed him so, so well. You know, I'm a colonel at the Air Force, and I want to say thank you to uh, 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 Mr. Msimangu, General Msimangu, who actually honored on the 1st of February uh, last year, they honored Jonas Gwangwa at the Air Force for all the work that he did for South Africa. And I want to say thank you to General Msimangu and the Air Force. Unfortunately, he couldn't be there because he wasn't well, but I'm glad that he even got the order of Ikamanga from the president. So he was loved and honored whilst he was alive. And thank you for, 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 for thank you to everybody who who did that and recognized that he had sure. to be honored whilst he was alive. Indeed. And uh, you shared different stages with him. And uh, for some of us who never got the chance to be in his mm -hmm. presence and, uh, well, we'll probably never get that chance to bask in the glory of his presence. So how was it like being around him? Well, you know, um, Uncle Musa, as I always called him, he was such a calm person. Mm -hmm. Even when he just made jokes, he would just laugh. You know, he mm. always had his laugh. And obviously, Mujalifa, you know, and Mama will always be there around him. And he would just always laugh. And he, he, would, he, he would put you in your lane. You know, he was mm. just an amazing I performed the couple of performances I did for him. With him, I would perform uh, before him and you know he'd say uh, they said we must be at the sound check at this time he was always punctual and just a real gentleman soft-hearted i'm actually very happy and blessed that i did bask in his glory a big star a world-renowned star south africa we've lost a giant indeed we have and uh I guess the only consolation is that uh, he may be gone, but his music will live on and will continue blasting those songs. And uh, May Yvonne, thank you so much for sharing your fond recollections of this giant. We do appreciate your time. Thank you for having me. That is South African artist uh, May Yvonne Chaka Chaka, just uh, sharing her uh, fondest recollections and uh, you know her memories uh, with the fallen giant uh, Jonas Wangwa.